What's good with your Batiste niggas? In today's video, we're going over the Armour Manier 4s. We're going to go over the price predictions, raffles, and etc. So these are set to release on November 16th on a Thursday. So that's a week from now. On other websites, like Sneakers app and everything haven't loaded in yet. But on other websites that haven't loaded up the raffles. But I'm going to go through them with y'all and go over the sneakers and talk about that. But let's get right into the video. So we're going to pull up the price prediction on StockX. Of course, that's our main source. So one of the sizes going for 1000 We're going to go from the smallest. So the smallest has no sales. Only six left, but they have a sold in it. Uh, buy now is for 1000 Let's go for a ten and a half. Let's see how much it's. Right now it's 132 less than the last sale, which is pretty good to see. Price is right now at 1100 Let's look at the sales. Only got one sale on these, so these are not hot right now. But I guess they don't have that much pairs on StockX for some reason. But yeah, ten and a half going for eleven hundred. Let's go for the money size. Money size going for twelve hundred. Pretty good. Look at the sales on these: eight hundred to eleven hundred to twelve hundred. We're just so they got like three sales, and you can see on the screen two hundred fourteen lower than the last sale, which is always good to see as well. It's a very clean shoe. It's a Jordan 4, so people are going to go crazy for these. And it's Alma Man Year collab, so it's going to go even more crazy. But it's a size 12. Size 12 is always the money sizes. Um, Yeah, it's going to be good, good investment in my opinion. Retail is going to be 225 After tax, it be like 250 around there, around that range. So it's going to be good, a good sale, but also a hard cop to manage to get. So we're gonna go over the sneakers raffles and everything. And my prediction when you have when everybody gets these in hand, they're gonna go to like six hundred range. Lowest six hundred range. The lowest I see these going for is six hundred. The highest I see these going for is eight hundred. So that's not bad. You're making like triple or quadruple or double your profit. How much you sell? The lowest I see is me selling these for is seven fifty. So it's like basically like triple your profit. I mean, like, yeah, triple your profit. So, you're still making money off of these. In my opinion, these will be a good hold also because I'm in mean, year like I'm in mean, year threes. That's a good hold. Size twelve is going for like six hundred. They used to be at a price range around a thousand almost, but now they're dropping all the way down to six hundred, which is still pretty good in my opinion. So I'm in mean, years are, in my opinion, they're they're good holds in my opinion. So enough of that. Let's get right into the, the sneaker raffles and see what we can um, enter on and uh, stuff like that. On releases, it's the thing I was talking about in the beginning of the video. Like, the the shoe's not loaded on these sites, so I'm pretty sure they're going to load within this week or most likely next week. But these sites intend to have, like, big releases. Like, you see these, they got the 11s already. They got the Voodoo's, they already did them. You also got the Pennies. So it's like... I'm a Manier said they always get the uh they always put in these like small boutique stores. So Poli Sneaker Politics is one of them. They intend, like I said, they drop on November 16th. I just don't know when they will drop, like when they will load up the sneaker raffles on this site. So the next site we got is sneakers. So you can see you got all these shoes before the 16th. But on the 16th, like I'm a Manier 4s are not loaded up on the uh, Sneakers app. Uh, like, you just got these five shoes loaded up, but no, I'm in year four. So that's another thing. They might do EA or they might do a shock drop. I just don't know yet. Hopefully they do like a like a shock drop or something. But at the same time, I feel like they should just load it up and don't do no EA or shock drops. So it can have us, like us, the people, have a better chance of copying for personal pairs or if you want to hold or sell. Either or is fine, in my opinion. But it just they haven't loaded up the the shoe on the site, so that's another thing I'm questioning. Like, it just sneakers app is being really secretive about it. I'm sure they're gonna load them up soon, just don't know when. So the next website we got is of course I'm a Manier itself. So you just go on releases, scroll down. As again, they still haven't loaded them up, but it's, they're gonna load them up soon. So yeah, look out for them by this week or next week for sure 
either or they're gonna load them up either or because this is their own website i know they did their uh own thing they did the uh record a video or something like that i finna show it like i'm year fours should go right here boom right there so that's one of the things you could have done you do that within i think it ended yesterday so or today i can't remember so this is like past due so this is over with i believe even though i think in eight days this is the release calendar for the uh, shoes so that's in eight days that this thing on the screen if you want to uh pause it or something that's already ended so that's why i don't really want to show this in the video but i just want to show y'all um that's basically it like on here and then of course you got social status which is the same thing as i'm a manure you go on releases scroll under you got nothing on there but most likely they're gonna have their raffles like loaded up because this is their sites they use so i'm a manure social status and you also got sneakers of course i just don't know when they're all being secretive right now and sneaker politics so that's four websites you can enter raffles on except for well three of them you can enter raffles on sneakers app it'll be a draw or leo drop a leo drop is like first come first serve within the three minutes um the draw will be like 10 minute draw uh hopefully they do a 10 minute draw i'm hoping and praying they load them up as for these other uh websites they're gonna load them up pretty soon and as i said again price point would be 600 to 800 price point if i hit on if i manage to hit on these in my size i'll do it on foot for y'all i i can check it out my outfits my outfits are at obt sneakerhead i can check it out over there on my instagram if i manage to get these in my size i wear size eight i just don't know what the size is like i just don't know what the sale price is on size eight but if i manage to get hit a size eight most definitely i got to stay tuned for that because these are very dope it'll be a dope shoe to have in my collection in my opinion 10 out of 10. i just like that burgundy look on it and all the details they put on it i know they have this little pedazzle thing i know it's throwing a lot of people off but i kind of like it because it has their logo on the back which is pretty dope but yeah, yeah let me know in the comment section how you feel about these um my opinion like i said if i hit on these i'll post them on my instagram my fits on them and of course i'm gonna do a review on them of course too on foot and all that etc but yeah these are very dope in my opinion very very dope can't wait for these to drop next week, in my opinion. And let me know how you're feeling about these in the comment sections. But yeah, that's where to cop at. How to end, well, where to enter as well. Price prediction. All of that. But that's it too for the uh, Air Jordan 1 Lost and Founds as well. I'm going to do a, another video on that. Where to cop predictions. How to cop and etc. But hopefully I enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, of course. Share the video as well. Your boy out.